my girlfriend thinks I spend way too much time editing. So to prove to her that time really does matter, I will be making the same edit in 10 minutes, one hour and 15 hours. But to decide if time really does matter, at the end, my girlfriend will guess which edit is which. If she gets it wrong, then I will have to post a 10 minute edit on my Instagram and TikTok where over 400,000 people will see and judge it. Now, these are the clips I will be working with. Timer set for 10 minutes, let's see what I can do. Since I don't have much time, I started with color correction right off the bat, so I wouldn't forget before time runs out. Then I jumped straight into transitions as they are what connects all the clips together. But I did get a little too locked in and forgot to check the time, which was a problem because while transitions are very important, I still needed to save some time for shakes and effects. Otherwise the edit wouldn't feel complete or at least as complete as a 10 minute as it can be. When I finally check the time, oh god, we only got three minutes left. I'm not finishing transitions. Let me just add some effects, I guess. When I looked at the time again, I only had 30 seconds. I had to add shakes fast because without them, the edit would have no impact. Plus, they can help hide the mediocre transitions. Unfortunately, I was only able to add about five of them before the time ran out. So yeah, this is how the edit turned out. Yeah, let's just say I do not want to post this edit. It's choppy, the color correction's too dark, and honestly, it just looks like it was made in 10 minutes. Which, to be fair, it was, but I'm sure it's not gonna stop people from commenting how bad the edit is. So, I just really hope that my girlfriend guesses the edit correctly. Moving on, the one hour edit. Six times more time to work with, so I can actually make something decent, hopefully. Starting the one hour edit in three, two, one, let's go. This time I'm trying a different strategy. Instead of starting with color correction, I'm going straight for effects. I'm not sure if that's smart or I'm just setting myself for this last deal, but I guess we'll see. After finishing the base effects, I checked the time and I had 45 minutes left. That's both good and bad as I do have a lot of time left, but now I'm wondering if I didn't add enough effects which will cause the edit to look boring. Still, I move on to transitions. Some clips already flow well so I skip them to save time, but every time I skip one I second guess myself. Am I cutting corners or just being efficient? It's really hard to tell. Halfway through I started filling the clock and I was wondering if I should polish what I already made or risk it all and try to add more. I decided to go for it, add more effects, color correction and throw in some shakes to tie it all together. By the time I started doing sound effects, I was racing the timer. I barely finished them before the time hit zero. I didn't end up doing everything I wanted, and the edit is definitely rough around the edges, but honestly, I'm surprised at how it came together. Still, I don't know if it's good enough to prove my point, but here is how the edit turned out. So much better. Don't get me wrong, it's still far from perfect, but I can confidently say that any editor could easily tell the difference between this edit and the last one. That being said, my girlfriend is not an editor, so I'm not sure at all she'll notice the difference. But before I even start worrying about that, I got one last challenge. 
the 15 hour edit. For this one, the problem isn't time, it's imagination. Can I really push the edit far enough to make it obvious that it's the 15 hour edit? I guess we'll see because I've already finished it. But before I show you the edit, if you're interested in learning how to edit like me, check out my editing course, the link will be in the description. And this is what the 15 hour edit looks like. Honestly, this might be one of the best edits I've ever made. Everything came together exactly how I imagined it. But the real test isn't what I think, it's whether my girlfriend can actually tell the difference. So the judge has arrived, as you can see. Do you think you're gonna be able to guess it correctly? I'm very confident in my abilities, yes. What, what is your past editing experience? I have, in my opinion, very successfully made um, a singular edit on After Effects, that is. But yeah, so as you can see over here, we got the three edits edits and I have randomized the order so she doesn't know which edit is what so yeah let's just start with the first edit okay, okay. see this is tricky this is harder than I thought it was gonna be oh man so again we got a 10 minute edit uh -huh. one hour and 15 hours mm -hmm. obviously don't you don't have to choose right now but just from seeing the first one what would you guess it is okay Initial instinct, one hour. From the first like half of it, I was like, oh, we're not like we're not adding in too many different things. Like it's kind of the same thing that you're like jumping between clips in, like the same way you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, transitions or whatever those are called. And I didn't see too many of those things where you like add in like a bright color, like a effect or something. Like in what are they overlays or something? Sure, yeah. yeah. I mean there definitely were some, but there definitely were, but like normally there's like more that I notice. But near the okay. end, there were more. So that's what makes me think it was an hour because I don't think you would have been able to pull that all off in 10 minutes. But you are also very experienced, which is what makes me like, makes me uh, question myself a little bit. Okay. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I guess we will see. And uh, we're gonna watch the second edit. This is gonna be really hard. This is gonna be so hard. Oh really? man. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. That was really good, but it just like, it just like, hit me here less you know what i mean like a, a good edit like it just it just like hits you and you you feel it okay. that one it's like i don't know maybe i'm totally off on how long it took but i feel like the the spirit of it was like a little bit less interesting like it the effects of it i don't know i didn't notice as many like there were definitely the whole like glowing things and uh -huh. all that but it didn't seem as like polished like except for that one part where there are like six different colors of something that was really cool but i feel like if that was if that i could make sense of that being the 10 minute one if that was the one thing you focused on you know what i mean but also like at the beginning like again it was like the same transitions for all of them it seemed like i want to go with this is the hour long one and the other one's the 10 minute one okay we'll see and then if, right. the, if the next one's super chop i might have to change that up <laughs> <laughs> just here to post my edits okay last edit Oh, that was definitely the 10 minute one. That has to be the 10 minute one. Like it felt like there was a lot less like flashiness. Like there were a lot less like smooth, like going from this thing to this thing, like. I'm not gonna say anything, but 10 minutes is not that long, so. No, for sure, I don't blame you. That was still great. If that was 10 minutes, like, wow. I have a lot to learn, but it was a good edit. It was just, it definitely, I could see like there were way more elements of like things you could have added in if you had more time. Okay, so you're locking on that one to be the 10 minutes. locking that in for 10 minutes. Okay, and what about the, the other two? What are we thinking? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I feel really bad because I got the other ones low-key chopped. Can I watch one of them more them again? The part with, in the second video, the second edit, mm -hmm. with the eyes, like I think there were like six eyes or something and they were different colors. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that they were t different colors made me think that it was more time spent on it, which could be the case. But I think the first one was like had way more like different cool like smooth like transitions and like effects and stuff on it i think that's the 15 hour one so you're locking in the first one to be the 15 hour and the third one is the 10 minutes and the second one is the hour that's it i've locked my you want a pinky promise you want to sure do you want to shake okay yeah locked in okay so you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The second one is the 15 okay. hour one and the first one is the one hour. You did get the third one, but 
Thank goodness for that. I don't know if it's much better because I still will have to post a 10 minute edit to my socials. That's kind of embarrassing for you. Okay, buddy. <laughs> I'll have to take the L hail and post the 10 minute edit. And what can I say? I guess it doesn't matter how much time you spend on your edits and you should spend less time editing. I think everyone who is watching this video is going to highly disagree with you and say that the 15 hour edit is way better than the one hour one and you're just hating. <laughs> I'm interested to hear what everyone has to say. Oh, they're gonna roast you so bad. Okay, so I'm low-key mad that she was roasting my 15-hour edit, so I'm gonna show her what it took to make, and maybe she, she'll be able to understand why, why it took so long. When you, like, point it out and I can see all these things, like, in action, it's, like, evident how this is, like, an immense amount of work. I think it's that, like, it goes so quickly and, like... You don't have enough experience. Yeah, it's, you can say that. As you can see, I actually posted the 10 minute edit to both my Instagram and TikTok and surprisingly, people are not hating on it as much as I thought they would. So now I'm wondering, should I really spend less time editing? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you will probably like this one too. Peace.